What up, everybody? It's your boy Jim Cat from the Welcome to Virginia podcast. How y'all doing out there? Let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. You feel me? Today, I'm just getting at people about, you know what I'm saying, mental, mental health. Mental health is so important. It's so real. So many people are battling so many different things. A lot of people don't even know that they suffer from mental health problems, mental health issues, drug addiction, alcohol abuse. You got people out here that are drinking every single day and don't realize that they have a problem. They're self-medicating with opiates, opioids and, and other substances. People smoke weed every day, don't think that that's a problem. Like You shouldn't need to smoke anything or drink anything or take any type of medication every single day unless you have some kind of problem. Like, there's just no way around it. Oh, I, I smoke because it makes me feel good. Well, you shouldn't need something to make you feel good. The fact that you woke up this morning should make you feel good. The fact that you have a roof over your head should make you feel good. Food to eat should make you feel good. That you're healthy and you're able to get out and do something to help provide for yourself and your family should make you feel good. You shouldn't woke, wake up and the first thing you do is smoke a, a, a joint or pop a bean or... or, or uh, I have to go to the store and get some alcohol in order to feel good. These are all signs of some serious underlying issues. And I feel like mental illness, and not mental illness, excuse me about that. Um, mental health plays a, a, a big part of that because, you know, we all suffer from problems. We all suffer from trauma. And we need to take a deep dive into that. I feel like a lot of us need to go to therapy and just speak about things that have happened in our past. And I feel like once we dig up these little underlying issues and actually attack the problems that we're actually going through, because a lot of people have have blocked out traumas. They've blocked out things that have happened in their life. And they use these substances to get by, not realizing that there's a huge problem that you've never talked about, never expressed, never been able to get it off your chest. And these are the reasons that you do a lot of things you do today. You know what I'm saying? I'm a victim of it, too. I, I abused alcohol for years. I'm coming up on one year sober tomorrow. Um, so congrats to myself. I don't need no applause. <laughs> anyway, yeah, man, but I just want people out there to be be mindful that it's okay to go to therapy. It's okay to talk to somebody. It's, op- it's okay to... Uh, to reach out and, and, and talk to somebody because we all go through a whole lot of different things, man. And nobody should need alcohol or any type of substance in order to function on a daily basis. And if you do, you suffer from something, whether it is the actual drug itself, or the alcohol itself, or there might be underlying issues that are causing you to drink or smoke because you're trying to, you're trying to patch that wound. You're trying not to think about things. You're trying to you know, put a Band-Aid on on something that you need to address. And and therapy helps with that, you know what I'm saying? So I I, I really feel like people should reach out to somebody, get some advice, get some some numbers you can call, and really go go, uh, check on your mental health, man, because we all need it. Even if you feel like you're you're doing great in life, you still need to go check in and talk about some things because small issues turn into big issues, and that's what we're trying to avoid. It's your boy, Jim Cat for the Welcome to Virginia podcast. Holla at your boy. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the comments below. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.